Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in today's tutorial, I'm giving you a little sneak peek at some of the brushes that I'm working on. And also we're putting the new Boho Neutral color palettes to work. And I have a few more different tutorials planned with these Boho Neutral color palettes, but I think they're really useful right now. And like I've said before, I love color, but neutrals are still a thing. They are still having a moment and they're, they're really versatile. And so for these brushes, I was actually inspired by pompous grass and it seems like you see it everywhere. You know, these dry kind of um, dried floral arrangements, you see them at weddings. They're really popular right now on weddings. I remember seeing a picture of Oh gosh, somebody just got married and no, it was Mandy Moore had a, a, a wedding and she had these beautiful pink pompous grasses, um, grass, grasses. <laughs> no. Anyway, so I was totally inspired by that. And in fact, I have been kind of in the background putting some work on some kind of feathery, fluffy sort of brushes. So I thought I would play around with that with the new neutral color palettes because they go, go perfectly with the kind of pompous grass grass motif. So that's what we're gonna do today. And also just a little quick, quick, quick um, preview for you guys. The One of the brush um, collections that go really good with the neutrals is the, uh, uh, the tie dyes. And my tie dye brushes have still been really popular. Um, here's a sample here. You can see the, the tie dye brushes in action. And another one, I made these Lux digital backgrounds, and this is just a little preview, but it, I think it looked really cool with the uh, 24 karat gold layer styles on top of it in the, in the tie dye. So definitely if you have the neutral palettes, give that, uh, give that a go. Those are really good brushes and, um, make sure you check, uh, keep an eye out on your inboxes on Monday because I think we're going to have a tie dye brush update. So anyway, stay tuned. But on this one, we are looking at some feathery brushes that I've been working on. So here is my inspiration over here um, on the left-hand side. And here's a little uh, one that I had played with um, in the center, just a little tuft of pompous grass. And I like that it gives like the idea of it, but it's not, you know, it's not super literal. It's not super perfect, but you totally, it's more stylized and a little abstracted. And I think that's fun because as most of you guys know who follow me, I totally can't draw. So that's why I create all these tools so that I can overcome my limitations. And over here on the right, we have a little, I use the brushes around uh, a circle, kind of a wreath motif. And I think something like this could be really lovely, a really good idea. And here's just a little, you know, like save the date kind of mock-up graphic. And I think that looks really nice. So I think you can have a lot of fun with that, this kind of idea. And so, like I said before, um, check out my Patreon. My Patreon is, um, of course, I have all my items for sale on my website, but my Patreon is where you get sneak peeks, exclusive discounts, and then also you get, um, you get to try brushes and stuff before they're available to the public. So I love, you know, love giving little extras to my Patreon. So here, let's start playing around and we'll do something kind of like this um, little tuft of pompous grass here. So of course we're using my color blending brush technique. So we're grabbing my pattern stamp tool and I have these saved as tool presets just for easy reference. But when you load them up, um, if you're a Patreon member and you download these, if you, when you load them up, you can just put them in your, it'll give you an option to just load them into your brush panel. But um, so let's hear, what was the one I started with? So I think I had some, let's see here. Fuzzy feather. Oh yeah, this was pretty good. So this was like kind of a fuzzy, fuzzy, <laughs> fuzzy, um, feathery. No, that's not that one. A, fu a fuzzy feathery brush. So I'm just going to kind of like, let's hear, I'm just going to go for Lord's sake. Let's just undo these brush strokes here. Let's create a new layer so I don't disturb that one. And I'm just going to kind of play around with this. So I'm going to just put some of these like brush strokes like this, like you see here, and kind of making that 
sort of pompous grass shape. And I might make a new layer and maybe grab one of my, um, like a darker uh, color palette and kind of just play around. You know, you kind of like want to have those little areas of depth or whatever. So throwing that down, I'm not going to be worrying about if it's perfect, but that is like a really great brush to start with. And it gives it that, um, like a fuzzy, that really like fuzziness that you see here. And um, whenever I release these brushes, I will re like actually name them correctly, but this is for now. So anyway, and we're using the color palettes from my Boho Neutrals. So these are, these, these ones here are color blends. And so that way you get all those lovely colors coming out of the brushes. And then I have some fuzzy thin brush, like, so you see some of that here. And I can just like put some of that into my little tufty thing here. And then I have like a fuzzy light brush with one of the, um, like a neutral, like a darker sort of, uh, a darker sort of color palette. And just kind of playing around with that there. It's okay, I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect. But the good thing is, is when I'm, I'm saving these for my Patreon right now and they'll have the colors already loaded. So that's kind of fun. And let's see here. And then the, the one I really liked is um, this one. So it's like a really feathery. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. This one is pressure sensitive and it's got these little like a feathery sort of look. And I, I really wanted to mimic, if you see here, you see those little tufts over on the left. You see these little like tufts of, you know, groups with little space in between them. So I thought I would play like that. And I think that looks really cool. And it also kind of gives it a little bit of a, like a stylized look. So you could take them really far down because they're, in reality, the, the things are really kind of small. There we go. So I'll just kind of play around with, you know, putting some of them in there. And anyway, this one isn't going to be like, look, my, the one that I did over there looks really nicer, but you get the idea and you can just play around with it until you have it, something that you like. I think I had um, done some, done a little bit different, but anyway, and I had put some of these spaced out ones like, bigger even so you know just uh have fun play around whenever i do the demo it doesn't always look as nice but the bottom line is let's see here i'm just going to show you a little without them all on top of each other let's group that um hold on one second let me take this one out keep that as reference so the brushes that I'm working on right now is this fuzzy kind of feathery brush. And there you can see it with one of the neutral color palettes, but it's, I'm gonna zoom in here. It's really nice. It's, it's got a painterly sort of look. We've got this really nice spaced sort of fluffy brush, which I think is really lovely. And then we've got this fuzzy thin brush, which is pressure sensitive as well. So, you know, you can do really light and, you know, you really feel that, that line here. So you can kind of play with like, like that with it, you know, really get some of these really fluffy things or, you know, do a little bit stronger too. And then also this fuzzy light brush. And this one is, I don't have a, it's, you don't see the, the colors blend really subtly. So, but it gives, this is really nice for that, um, that soft fuzziness. Here when I'm zooming in, you can see the beauty of these brushes just a little bit more. When I was zoomed out, you didn't see as much. Um, yeah, that space, now you can see that looking really nice. Like even this little thing that I'm doing now, it looks a little bit prettier than like the one that I just did. And then there's a couple other ones um, that I will include. Um, this one is like a, it's a feathery one. It's called spl like splashy, and it's just got these like it's feathery, but it's got these beautiful splashes in it. So um, I'll have that in the little um, preview early access set for my Patreon. But I think you could do some really cool sort of 
effects with that. I think that's so pretty, so magical. And then this one I was just playing with. It's not, it's not really done yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put that on my Patreon is this uh, rough stroke one. And it's kind of a feathery rough stroke, but you can make some like cool sort of painterly effects. And then, oh, and then I also will include this uh, tie dye, but here, let's go over to my little, um, let's pop over if my Photoshop will, to my little uh, save the date here. And as you can see, we've got the strokes around it. And I won't kind of bore you, but I'll kind of peel back the layers so that you can see um, what I did here. But let's just group these. And let me hide all the layers here. And I'll just kind of build it up and show you what I did. So same kind of principle. So first of all, I put those thin, the thin, fuzzy thin layers, just a little bit of the movement to give your, you know, the idea of what you're doing here. And then I added the fuzzy light ones and they have a nice brown color. And then I added the fuzzy feather brushes and that just gives it extra fluffiness. And then what I do, and then I put the ones that are spaced out, the little um, stylized sort of things. And then I just added a, oh, I think I added a couple of the rush, rough strokes, but really small. And also I had played around with um, like, because I, with the boho, I could just see these, these feathery motifs, but also working in with some tie dye. But I had just put like a little bit of like, this was like kind of a little bit of a like, this is a, it's a, the water, it's like a watercolor tie dye. Um, it's from my tie dye brush set, but this one's like a little bit more watercolory. And so I had played around with putting that kind of behind it. So I'm curious to think if it's too much. So there's the original and there's putting some tie dye behind it, but I'm not sure. So I'm curious like what you guys think. Um, let me know down below in the comments, but you know, uh, when you're designing, it's always good to have an editing eye. So me, I just want to like add kind of everything. This is a, this is like a really, yeah, this is like a really strong brush, but anyway, I'm curious, but I, I wanted to add some kind of tie dye elements. So I'm curious what you think, if you like it with or without. And then also I kind of played with the idea of putting some like, like uh, really delicate tie dye accents in the background, but oof, that's too much. But I think that sometimes you have to have that editing eye and take it down. But I eventually I do want to incorporate like the, the fuzzy feathery sort of, you know, the pompous grass motif with some tie dye, all boho neutral. I think it would be very cool. So I'll have this demo PSD and the tools available on my Patreon. Um, I'll link down below to my neutral color palettes and I've got lots of good stuff coming up ahead. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. If you like the video, please give me a like. And um, yeah, stay tuned for next week because I have some exciting things coming and make sure you're signed up for my newsletter. So, um, and I'm going to think of something, but I'll put a, a freebie for everyone down below. So um, it'll be like a mystery freebie, something to do with this though. So be sure to check that out because I always like to do a freebie and it has been a hot minute since I've had time because I've been working so much on my site and just a lot of things like that. So anyway, stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week.